Hi, my name is Chris Garris, and I'm the food manager at our Daily Bread, which is a nonprofit organization. And we are at um, Reston Bible Church, and they're going to do a food delivery for our program. And we um, ask uh, churches and um, different organizations like Microsoft, uh, Biz Allen is involved with our food program. We ask them to do a delivery for 30 families. And as you can see here with all the food behind me, they um, collect the food ahead of time. And then um, Saturday and Sunday, they'll do their gathering of all the foods for the 30 families, and then they will do the delivery. And roughly in a year, um, about $160,000 of food is donated. And how we uh, find our clients that are on the food program is they um, go through either a social worker or a school counselor. And once they get onto the program, they will receive food for three months every other Sunday. And this is in hopes that they will be able to, um, whatever crisis that they're in financially, that they'll be able to get out of that and not slip into homelessness. So we serve uh, low-income Fairfax County residents, and um, I never it. What made you choose to become the food coordinator for Reston Bible Church? Um, I just really saw the need, and I thought there that there might be something that I could offer in terms of time, energy, and um, just an opportunity to get out there in the community. So um, I decided that okay, I'm going to do this. I want to get involved and. And it has changed so much since, you know, from the first moment that I said, okay, I'll do it. Um, you know, just kind of learning about our daily bread, how they work with Fairfax County Department of Social Services. But what evolved for us as a church as a result of doing this is that we got a pantry. And uh, we actually cleaned out a storage room and built shelves and uh, started you know, asking for provisions from our congregation. The congregation has gotten involved both in terms of uh, donating canned food items and um, gift cards for grocery stores um, and basic, you know, uh, checks, whatever, monetary donations. And so now today we have a huge pantry that um, we actually work from. So because one we provide a list, right? That you follow as a guide. Correct. Just correct. Because when guide. we get the list, right? When we get the list from you guys, I go through each one and I kind of look at. You know, family size. Um, you provide the profile in terms of number of kids, their ages, um, and then there's sometimes noted uh, special requests. So we look at all of those and then I generate a shopping list based on what you've given us and uh, whatever we don't have in the pantry then I go and you know do the shopping and then we set it up in the area um, in our outside area here of this room <clears throat> so that our volunteers can kind of eyeball and you know, and then start bagging groceries for, for the clients. Many times a year do you do it? We, uh, we're on a quarterly, um, I guess, uh, rotation right now where we, you know, usually May, August, and December is when we do our... That's wonderful. Our well, on our program right now, we have about 21 churches that help yearly, and um, we just couldn't do the food program without your support. Right. I'm surprised not more churches... Do, I mean, given all the churches in this Fairfax County area. Well, we're trying. This is what we're doing today. We're hoping to bring on some more churches so that they can learn about our program and um, see right. that it is something that really helps our community. Yeah. I can't think of anything, you know, that really expresses more, you know, just a heart-filled, you know, let's, let's reach out to our community than 
you know, partnering with, with our daily budget, you know, to share in this effort. I love about my job the most is yeah. um, the, the volunteers and, and just how much love there is out there for yeah. supporting people. People have it. People, people yeah. have it. And I think people just need to be reminded to say, come on, let's right. go do this. Come or on. They, you know? they don't know what it is they could be doing. Right. They know that it's out there, but they're they're just unsure. And when right. you help direct them, it's just amazing that they're willing to reach out and you know. Take somebody you, sometimes Cindy. to fuel. <laughs> you know, to thank fuel. You, thank you so much. Thank really. you very much, Chris. I appreciate it. And I, um,